been in care for 18 years and it has always been a problem getting any sort of services because they're not classed as emergency services. Getting somebody's hearing loss checked, it can take weeks or even months. Hearing loss in itself is the biggest modifiable risk factor for prevention of dementia. You're more likely to have a fall and you're at risk of social isolation. And that in itself is a really big issue for the residents within care homes. We were approached by Timper Health um, with their new technology. They presented what they were doing and they were interested in rolling this out in care homes and they approached us as one of the first care homes to roll it out in. Identifying how much um, of an issue ear health is in our residents and in this population, um, it was something we were, we were really keen to sort of trial out. Initially we trialled it out in three homes um, and it was very successful in those three homes and now we're taking it to all eight of our homes. My mother, you know, the, the, fam the familiar surroundings is what really makes her comfortable here. Showing somebody, showing her that maybe she's got a problem, she has got an infection in her ear, but it can be treated here, rather than saying go to the doctor, go to the hospital. Every, every time we mention the hospital to her, then it's no, no, I'm not going to the hospital. So having it looked after here and having some people that actually understand what the problems with the ear are is, 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 is a great thing for me. I seem to have um, problems with wax. Sometimes I found that um, what the people were talking about, I couldn't understand. It wasn't painful, but um, and it was fairly quick. And whereas people used to go weeks and weeks without being able to hear and communicate and self-isolating, they no longer do that. It's made a massive difference to residents. I walked out of there and I could hear the world. <laughs> Just like a walking on the air. A lovely surprise and um, easily done as well. Oh, and the, I mean, you can hear them, I can hear more now because I'm, I'm listening to it. Where well, half the time I didn't bother to listen. It's not as if it's an hour's thing to have them done. And I think that, you know, it would be better for most people, I would have thought. Having the service in-house is having a huge impact on the day-to-day -day life of our residents and the family members and our team members as well. To be able to respond immediately to any kind of concerns around hearing, um, even if it's to provide the residents and their loved ones with reassurance, um, is amazing. But to be able to actually address um, issues there and then and respond um, in that way. It's just made such a positive difference to our residents in terms of the lives that they can then live within our care homes. For our residents that like to join in with the activities, I think it makes a huge difference. They can hear what's going on, they can communicate with their friends, their neighbours. It really has made a difference. Watching the care home staff here deliver the ear and hearing health service to the residents and seeing the reaction it's been fantastic to see. I think they look at it as a bit of pampering as well now. You know, it is painless and it makes a difference. As this is so simple, it should be, I mean, almost mandatory for everybody to have it done. <laughs>